Welcome to Chicago for the Geico 400. So on pole is Kevin Bannon into the outside is Tommy Turbo. Third is Michael Gregory, Gabriel Wanderley, and Dan Bannon. So that's your top five for the race. I, I believe this is Kevin Bannon's sixth pole this season. He has been he has been up front starting up front more than anyone this season. Or maybe a car didn't go, no? Maybe a little bit longer to take off pace car in 27 laps here in Chicago. Should be a nice fun race. Green flag! Tommy Turbo either did not get a good start or Kevin Bandit got a great start. But Colby Canty's not going in the middle of the pack. The 23 just up to third gear. Lou, does NASCAR go, go around the outside maybe? Wow. Colby can't. He's probably going to have to bring that car down pit road. Oh, car's in the wall, but they keep it clean. And Kevin Bannon leads the first up with Michael Gregory on his back bumper. Let's go back here as they are still in a huge mess. Marco Martinez, one of them. Trevor Brown, Hayden Caldwell. Now the outside lane slowed up. They might be able to get down inside now. They do. As Michael Gregory takes the lead. As watch behind, though, they will slide up. Oh, the 11 slow. Ron Arn slow caution. That might have been why he looked at. Oh my goodness. Caution out. Does everyone take the caution flag? Yes. So let's see as we focus in on Ron Arn and ask him and everyone go across the grass right there. And that's what probably started the wreck. And KG kind of went up to Ron Arn. That was the first wreck now. Let's see what happened to Ask Commander number one, why he was all the way down there. As this was a violent, violent wreck. So they're coming off the corner, they're really close. Dylan Lewis got spun by Peyton Beasley, Squid Jr. And they all kind of hit. That's why they, they saved it, but Ask Commander number one. So he keeps off the wall there. We well, should have kind of slowed down and stayed on the apron, but comes right back up. TJ Hanley narrowly avoids, and that just sent him over. Now watch this, tumbling down the track. There's, there you see the smoke from Ron Arn. Still flipping. And Lou does NASCAR drills as he's going over, and that is a vicious, vicious wreck. Oh, my goodness. And that's the part we saw, the car in the air pirouetting. That's, that's a lot of cars right there. That's five cars in this wreck and the car comes to rest on the wheels thankfully an onboard camera in this just narrowly avoiding it Dylan Lewis take a look at his onboard What a wild, wild lap. All right, Michael Gregory got back. Pit stop will not happen. We will go back here with 21 laps to go. Hayden Caldwell, Lily does NASCAR. NAS command number one, Trevor Brown. And Landon Lucas all out of this race. Colby Canty, 37th. Have they fixed what's wrong with that 23 car? Or will Colby Canty... Fall back in the back. So it's Michael Gregory, then Kevin Bandon, Jake Ferguson sneaks up to third, Dan Bandon, Prince on your top five. Then you got Freddie Hall, uh, Gabriel Warner, Chris Dodd, Dale Jr. 88, and Grace Acevedo, your top ten. Michael Gregory has led the most of this race. Kevin Bandon led the first lap, however. He restarts second. And here we go. I feel like we haven't yet we we've yet to see what a lot of people's cars can do and there we go. Michael Gregory on the gas. Just leaves Kevin Bennett in the dust. Watch Kevin get a run on him on the way on the back as long as Jake Ferguson doesn't peek out. 
Which he may right here. They are really getting bunched up. Here he goes. Jake Ferguson for second. Will Kevin... Whoa! Jake Ferguson sideways and Kevin Van's gonna get around. Now Jake blocking Dan Banden. Trying to keep him behind. That was a great job by Jake Ferguson controlling that car. Going back after Kevin Van gets sideways again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Freddie Hall. Probably should have wrecked even Wanderley there. Gabriel went up into him. Caution back out? Oh! Now it's going to be... That's a big wreck. And they're racing back. It's going to be Michael Gregory, of course. I think there was another wreck. Yeah, there was. So two wrecks again to bring out the caution. Let's see. This was the first wreck. John Acosta sliding up into Jacob Campbell. They go hard into the wall. And they're not the only ones. They come down. Sherry Baddock there. Gets spun. Marco Martinez and uh, Brandon Hall kind of hit it. Nice. Oh, Ron on a ton of damage. Because he hit Sherry Baddock. Look at this. Speeds up. Can't can't quite get through there. And now I think KDU124 got spun out. Yeah, look at this. They're sliding up. You can't. There's no room. Freddie Hall. Race Ace Vito into the wall. There's Austin Gagner. Oh, Austin up on his side onto the safer barrier. Jenner Turn on two gets drilled by Peyton Beasley. There's Squid Jr., Hoover, Joseph is NASCAR, Dylan Lewis, Ooh, Ryan Acosta. That's that's a lot of cars right there. That's that's the big one. Marco Martinez slides in there. There's Ron Arm with a ton of damage going down pit road. And they have a few onboard cameras who are in this wreck. Dylan Lewis, one of them. Let's see what Dylan had to see. He was at the back of the pack. And his car is pointed down and then it pointed up. Grace Acevedo, an onboard camera. Grayson won last week, the Coca-Cola 600, and the Daytona 500, so a great list of races that he's won. And now pit stops will happen here a little bit before halfway. See everyone pitting, of course. As will the number one pit stop for Kevin Vanden play out here. Oh! Tommy Turbo and Gabriel Wanderley contact on pit row, it looked like. Will some take two? Will some take four? Two tires for mostly everyone, yep. As it's Michael Gregory, Jake Ferguson, Kevin Banden, TJ Hanley, Dan Banden. They get out. One, two, three, four, five. Going back here just before halfway on lap 13. Look at the cars that are out because of this. Marco Martinez, Ryan Acosta, Brandon Hall, J. My Family on two, Ron Arn, Dylan Lewis, Hoover. Zachary Fitzwater, Cookie Dude 12, Master Lewis 33, K Dude 124, Squid Jr., and Peyton Beasley. 78 John Acosta, one lap down when we start to the inside. So it's Michael Gregory, Jake Ferguson, Kevin Banden, TJ Hanley, and somehow Colby Canty up to fifth without a hood. Uh, the Dan Banden, Prince Arn, Dale Jr., 88, Matt Wagner, and Cole Lewis runs out your top 10. So some good runs for some guys that need it. As Michael Gregory looking for his second win of the season. Here we go. Pace car just hit road. John Acosta will probably not get going, so I would I would want to stay in line up here at the top. If you're like one of the first few cars. Yeah, John Acosta not going. Neither will Colby Canty. It's not as bad as John Acosta. Look at them. Dan Bannon going around the outside. Colby Canty. As Jake Ferguson looks for the lead underneath Michael Gregory. Michael has led all but one lap in this race. 
And Jake Ferguson gonna change that. They come off a of four. He leads as there's a close fight. Caution out again. John Acosta. See him slow throughout the pack, and Antonio Martinez had to get by him. Came down to show you back, and there was no room. As they hit, they went up, and John Acosta there spins it fully around and gets it going again. Obviously, a tough break for John Acosta, who right, uh, already had a damaged car now, car even damaged more. And as Jake Ferguson will lead back to the green flag with TJ Hanley, Michael Gregory, Kevin Bandy, and Dan Bandy. We'll go back here with 10 to go, and Jake Ferguson is the leader. TJ Hanley second, Michael Gregory third, Kevin Bandy fourth, and Dan Bandy fifth. Last lap belongs to Michael Gregory, and John Acosta is taking the car to the garage. He is done for the day. So here we go, pace car to pit road. Here we go. Green flag. Michael Gregory looks to the outside. Nothing there. Down the back. Ooh. Band and Brothers. Fighting. Kev Ooh, Dan Bandon makes it three wide. Look out. Kevin Bandon backs. Has TJ Hanley going for the lead. Nine to go. Wow, Dan Bandon, such a great run underneath Jake Ferguson. And he's going to be looking for the lead here. Look at this. There's a big pack behind. That's going to be big. Let's go back there. Big battle for position back here. Michael Gregory has fallen back. He is just inside the top ten. Because there are battles all over the track. Go back up to the lead and see that Dan Bannon still there, but his teammate Cole Lewis behind. As cars get into the wall, Cole Lewis is going to charge right up to Dan Bannon and may bring others into the fight. Look at this mess behind Dale Jr. 88, Matt Wagner, and Jake Ferguson. Jake all the way up against the wall. This could get big. As Cole Lewis taking the race lead. Comes out of nowhere. He's going to lead this lap. Look at Dan Bandon though. With Matt Wagner looking for his second win of the season and third. Looking to the inside. Side by side. Look at that there. That's going to be a wrecking. There it go. Three cars. Four. Five. Oh. Caution out, that's the big one. And it's a race back to the line with Nat Wagner, then Dan Bandon. As they might get this cleaned up. It might be about a one lap shootout. You can see here three wide. Doesn't usually work through one, two, especially when the bomb car starts lined up. And Chris Dodd did not give Kevin Bannon much run, but then Tommy Turbo did slide up. They hit hard. Spin, then Michael Gregory, random racer. Who else? Ooh, Jacob Campbell. Oh, like everyone at the back of the pack. Uh, anyone else hit these guys? Ooh, Austin Gagner nails. Look at all the cars down there just smoking. Look at this 46 car. Somehow got all the way down to the inside. Look at Elba fly through there. On board with uh, Kevin Bandon. See him in this wreck.
this. I kickstarted Kevin there, didn't it? So, Nat Wagner, your leader, will we see pit stops? No, we'll get you back to the green flag, hopefully. Going back green with one lap to go. As they see even more cars retire from this wreck. Let's see all of them that are now out. There are 15 cars now lead lap, 17 left in the race. So it's Nat Wagner, then Dan Bandle, Cole Lewis, Prince Arn, and Jake Ferguson in the top five. Dale Jr. 88, DJ Hanley, Gabriel Wanderley, Joe Smith Nascar, and Antonio Martinez. Then Michael Lee, Elbow Wanderley, Grace Acevedo, Freddie Hall, Chris Dodd, Ryan Racer, and Kevin Bannon on pit road. Probably won't be able to get back out of the track to finish the race. Pace car in. The green and white flag will be dis displayed. Green flag. Will we see another fantastic finish? Nat Wagner, one win this season at Talladega. As the leaders, they're going to be three wide. Look out. Don't slide up. Oh, tight off the corner. If Dan Bennett and Cole was side by side, Prince Arn looking for the fifth win of the season. If Cole Lewis slides up, that's going to give Prince a chance. Here they come. Three and four. Prince Arn gets down there as they wreck behind them. Cole Lewis. What a great finish. Check out Jake Ferguson's last lap slide. Let's see where he comes in at the line. They see they're just jostling for a position back there. Oh. Comes across the line and health it looks like. And now let's check out that finish. Cole Lewis wins the race. Not by much though. As they could see it by about a car length, but still, still not very big. Let's check the finish results. Here are the finish results from the Geico 400 Chicago. Five lead change, or er, five caution flags, but seven lead changes. With Cole Lewis winning the race, he started 30th. Ended up winning Prince Arn, Dale Jr. 88, Dan Bannon, TJ Hanley, Joseph Nascar, Antonio Martinez, Gabriel Wanderley, Michael Lee, and Nat Wagner in your top 10. Jake Ferguson spun in the final about uh, 500 feet. Most laps led goes to Michael Gregory, but he finished 21st, was involved in an incident with about 6-5 laps to go. See some guys, unfortunate, involved in big wrecks. Here are the point standings with after 18 after 18 races, and it's Prince Arn still holding the top of the points lead. Then Gabriel Wanderley still holding a solid second, even without any wins. Dan Bandon without any wins is third. Then Grace Acevedo, Kevin Bandon, Dale Jr. 88, Austin Gagner, Nat Wagner, Jacob Campbell, and Tommy Turbo. They're in the chase. And then Ron Arn locked into the chase in 17th with that all-star win. And Elbow Wanderley with a win and an 11th. Most top 10s this year, Prince Arn with 9. Most top 5s is uh, Prince Arn with 7. And he also has the most wins by one win over Grace Acevedo. So the next race will be the Monster Truck of Downtown 500 at Pocono.